Right guys, so we are back in the warehouse. I'm doing Axel myself. Luke's doing throw bags and then we're gonna to come together for arm over arm pickups and stones, I think. So it's gonna be fun. Axel today, I've got the big gold wheels here today. 25 carat gold, them bad boys are. 25 uh, carat, yeah. Oof. I shouldn't be lifting, I should be selling them, eh? I'm gonna get used to that because it's totally different doing an axe off the ground than it is doing it with 18 inches. It throws loads of people off. Trying to get onto the Britain's Strongest Man standard axle and see what we can do. Nice. What are you doing, Luke? Right. Bag talk. Just watch me. Old school uh, blue shorts today, boys. My other ones were a bit dirty after deadlifts yesterday, so not that, not that these are much cleaner. I like this lemon flavours of rain. So I'll eat a rain before we start. And then we're good to go. We've set up the arm over arm outside today, trying to pick up um, arm over arms today, which will be pretty cool. Gives us a little bit more length to pull and a little bit heavier as well. So we'll get into it. There's two different axles today. Yeah, pollen wheels. Pollen wheels are harder. So yeah, this is about 161 kilograms, which the plan was meant to go 10 kilograms more and do some more reps as well, but with it obviously being concrete in here, I can't just lift it, go straight up. So I'm going to have to lift it onto a mat, roll it off, lift it, roll it off. So yeah, it's either going to be two sets of four or one big set, depending on how it's feeling and how I'm feeling. I may do two sets of four so that I can get more, be more technical with the second one. If my first one's gone a bit wrong, then the second set, at least I know where to go. So we're just going to see if I'm 120 right now. I'll probably do a double on this and a single on this and then maybe go straight into 160 and see how it feels from there and then we'll, we'll talk after. <coughs> a few sets of this to shout, get warmed up. Take your time in that time, don't. Like you say, the transition between the two. Take a wee minute for you, won't it? Yeah, Even just do cleans maybe with it, no? to roll it back for each time? Um, if you want them. Well, if you're doing any more than a rep, let me know, then I'll say it. I'll do more than a rep, yeah. In this set, yeah. Come on, see some power. Come on, big pop. Nice, Tom. Easy. You got us. Come on, that's better. Pop! Come on, power! Get it. There's another one there. Just focus more on that power at the top, okay? Come on, snappy pop. Come on. Come on. Come on! There you go, come on! Drive it above your head! Easy, there you go. One more, let's go. 
Oh, you. Let's go. Come on. Last one. Same again. Come on. Big power, Tom. There we go. Huge pop. Get it. Easy. Hey, that's better. I think you'd all agree the, the real MVP is my new grip. Just picking this up, double over. Just walking it out the way. That third rep was nice. You had that little more pop. You can just say a double or something. Don't. The more times I do it, the better. Yeah. It's harder to see in this one. It's just marking the edge of the knurl, but that's your your locator. You know where you're at, where you are in the centre. So sometimes, if you can't see it, because it's been used a lot and it's quite chalky, finding the centre can be a bit of a bugger sometimes. So, so you know that's the edge of that, and that's the edge of the knurl in here. So then you can do your two fingers away from that or whatever. Just a wee thought, might help, might not. Right, come on, Tom. Nice, Tom. Come on. Brilliant. That's better, that's better. Okay. Come on. Easy, come on. Come on, big pop. You got it. Come on, solid. Good, Tom, there you go. Good. You want another one? Okay, sweat. Sweat, sweat, sweat. sweat. Come on then. Good, Tom. That's better. Come on, strong. There you go, nice. That's good. Last one, let's go. Come on. Come on, easy it, Tom. Come on, throw it up. There you go. Power. Get it, yeah, buddy. Nice, that's better. Nice. Oof. 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 Yeah. Right, guys, two sets. Of four, 162, which is the BSM weight. It's totally different doing an axle than it is doing it with the bumpers. See, the first set I was, it was hard, but then the second set I got used to it more. But yeah, it's just about practicing it. So the next four weeks is going to be the golden wheels and uh, getting used to that. But the good thing is my clean's much more efficient than it used to be, and I can muscle it if I need to. But oh, axle press, I can't wait till Britain's is over so I can only need to do one lot of axle pressing because this is hard work. Eh? Hard work, boys. Bosh, mate, bosh. <laughs> Rogue, what a piece of <laughs> Rogue, the best ba bags in the planet. <sighs> the zip burst, never mind. Can't design a sled. <sighs> that went too high, it burst open. Right, we're going to do some chucks, obviously. Throws, I mean, I mean, I don't think I'll be using five sandbags because it's pointless using that light one. I'm just going to probably do four, maybe two sets of it, and then I can do arm over arm. I was going to do arm over arm first, but. Since the bag thing's set up, let's just get this out of the way. Penny six, boys. Penny six, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that done. So, it's all going tits up. What's going on, boys? How do we get this now? Oh, my back. Oh, 
and one exercise. That's about two hours. Oh, that's our cool setup. Try and move this up the Try, try. Is that it? Alright. Okay. So if I'm pulling like this, yeah? Solid. <laughs> Nailed it. Jeez. Oh. It's quite momentum, but it's still decent. Aye. Decent for longer. Yeah. So, it's also scary. You stop like three meters of so that car. It's so ropey, that, isn't it? Especially if you go too fast. It's gonna keep coming. That nearly went. One. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two. One. Oh. <laughs> Do it again. It's done, we don't want to die. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Have you got stones as well, Tom? Yeah. This week is up to 340 kilograms. The last two have been between 320. Hold it. It's going to be a Do I have you 10? Sorry. That's alright. Oh, happy with that. 3 4 20 kg. Probably could have done 50, but f my hands. 30 was a goal. Boom. That's the reminds me of when we used to have to do the qualifier for Scotland's strongest man down in Dumfries uh, in Stuart Murray's gym, Burns gym. Um, it used to always be quite cold. So we'd always have, like, not me, but the lads. Some of the boys had, like, blow torches to heat up the tacky I didn't have a clue about any of that stuff it seems I still don't
Cold to talk to you. Sports when we're doing stuff, so but one of them things did all four. Obviously, I would have done it if I didn't hurt. Lucky I wasn't to the left a wee bit of my head would have hit, but I just did a nice, easy turn with there. So, next week, another stone run, I can get them all done nice and easy, nice and fast. But we'll spot each other because anything can happen. You know, these holes are they get battered and bruised as well, and when they, they can pop out them easily. So. Yeah, that's the first time that's happened to me, so weird, but it is what it is. At least I've come all scathed. If I hit my head, I'd be lying here unscathed. Oh, that was a close call for Big Tommy. For, uh, but, but fortunately for Tom, he's that big, a hundred, that 180 kilo stone doesn't even dent him. It was yeah, a good session. I was concentrating more on the sandbag throws today, and then we went out and did arm over arm in the, the pickups, so that was quite good and then stones at the end. But we've got a blow heater, I think. Maybe take that blow heater in, Tom, eh? next week. So we've got like a little jet engine heater that we take in when it's cold, um, just to warm everything up. As you can see, the tack is very, very hard at the moment. And it won't be when we're at Britain's Strongest Man, because it'll be quite warm there. So uh, we'll take that in. Any help, Dad, Tommy? Stay safe, Simon, and stay spicy. It's happening, guys. We're back. Um, so today for me, pressing, uh, it's my kind of assistance pressing day. Um, this one kind of helps sort out all the niggles that I've had before. So doing behind the neck press, doing some mace work. I think I've got incline press and then some assistant stuff. My wee pre-workout for my protein. I actually genuinely really like this. If I don't use this or if I don't have it, I feel my energy isn't quite as there uh, when we're at events. Last week I didn't have one, so I felt not as amped up, so hopefully today will be a good one. Wow, oh my god, I'm going so fast! Wow, apparently it works, my protein called Stoltman's for a discount. Anyway, that's about that. Been talking a lot about celebrating the small wins. The last time I did behind the neck press, or the last time we recorded it, I think I was really struggling with like 40 kilos behind my neck. Shane's added in a couple more things for me to do to warm up. Last time I trained, I was up to 100 kilo behind the neck press, which is a massive improvement as an athlete. I look for progression in any shape or form. So if I can progress, not only in my strongman events, but in my rehab work, my conditioning, my assistant stuff, it's still progression. So there you are. Progression is key. Pretty fancy that mate. So after the swim today, I was like so buzzing to, to think about the wee man coming. When you get so happy, you get emotional. So I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, I can't believe. And then I voice noted Shane Flowers, who recently had a baby a few months, maybe six, seven months ago. I never voice note for Shane, but I was buzzing. So sorry, Shane, if you're watching this. I was just on a cold water high. Every time, man, it's like, 
every time you think about it, you think, oh my God, that's mad. How can a baby be coming? So probably Shane's blocked my number now. Crazy voice notes from Big Dafty. So sometimes with this one, the goblet squats, I get a bit of knee pain, so I just hold it for a wee second. Your body is resilient. If your mind can take the pain, your body can. <laughs> this, this type of movement now I do is predominantly for my press days. So what this does just helps open and keep that shoulder healthy, fix that external rotation. Get me nice and lumber. Um, we're now on the next part of the, the session. So the strength phase, mace is mace. So doing three sets and then behind the neck, doing a 10 rep max. It usually takes me a couple of swings to get into it. It's a good one, it just helps everything kind of I don't know, I don't know what it does, but it feels good. It hurts your wrists. You can feel it, you know, in the twist. It gets your wrist moving as well. That's better. That's amazing. I mentioned a couple a few weeks back that because the sessions are a little bit longer, I started adding a little a uh, little shake in, so I take uh, just unflavoured creatine monohydrate because obviously it was sponsored by my protein. Um, they look after us very well. And this intro workout, um, also for my protein, I take a scoop. And I'm not just saying this because I wouldn't be taking it um, if I didn't like it. But the, the taste of this one, it's the cranberry, cranberry and raspberry. But you can see that was. That's only been a, a couple of weeks. So every session I have a scoop. It's got no sugar in it. Let's have a read. What have we got in it? Protein, 10 grams. Different bits and pieces, but it's, it's too much, too confusing for me to read. It's intra-workout. And we got one of these mad cooler things when we're at the Rogue Invitational. So that's got my water in so I can just top it up. We've also got a tap here, but I don't know why. I thought this was cooler to do. Yeah, I just like having this because it gives me the fuel for my workouts now because they are a bit longer and I think today is going to be a bit of a, it's going to be a double session, which we didn't talk about, but, oh, oh big Shane Flowers just messaged me back. I'm not messaged back, so he says, good to hear from you, so that's nice. He's not said, look, you're a maniac, don't ever message me again. It's mad that we can, oh, I'm going to go into one of my chats again, I'm gonna, we went out yesterday, Kush and I had some lunch, really nice, went out to a little cafe, haven't been out for lunch in a while with her, and like all this salad, and I was like eating tomatoes, I was like, Kush man, it's mad, isn't it, that like, we're living on a planet, it's almost like self-sufficient for us to be here, so like it grows, like things just grow and you can take them off the trees, and then you survive. I, it was blowing my mind yesterday. I don't know why, but we get a little bit caught up in like, oh, that food wasn't that nice. And, you know, like, come on, like, just be grateful that you can go to a bush, or you can go to a vine, or you can go to a tree, or you can go to roots. Patties are growing in the ground, carrots are growing in the ground, tomatoes in the vine, grapes in the vine, whatever. But we can go to that and, and survive because of that. So for whatever reason that happened, is it a coincidence that all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, but is it a coincidence that there's these mad things that grow on the earth that we can eat? I don't know. It's mad, isn't it? Anyway, that's, that's enough for that. I was just like, Kush, is, she's like, what are you talking about? I said, Kush, just hear me out. Like, you're having a baby, there's something growing in your belly, and we're sitting here eating, like, salad and stuff that's, like, being grown on this planet that we're living in. 
What are the chances? What are the chances? What's the plan? What's the greater plan? Oh, God. Anyway, shut up. I know, it's only just after 10. Right, anyway, so, behind the neck press. Click, click, click. Tick, tick, boom. So. Takes a minute for me to get into this one. So I'll do a couple of sets with this weight. I may actually put some wrist straps on. Come on, Mr. No, oh, that's better. That's better. Right, it feels you can feel straight away, you know, when you de rack it or take it out the rack. That's so much better. You have to go in and be like confident and like, you know your cues. So when I'm, when I'm doing this behind the neck stuff, I know I've got to get a, like an arch in my back. I squeeze my lats. So everything's tight, everything's like solid. Because it's a lot, you, know, you need to have that core stability. If you, if you don't have that arch and you're like that, you're going to come round more. And then that mobility for me isn't going to be there. So... I just feel it. It's all about feeling, isn't it? <laughs> so like I say, I did a hundred. I think that was four, five reps last time, I think. So what did we say at the start? Progression is our friend, is it not? So. In my head, it would be nice to do a hundred for ten. That would be nice. So we'll see. A lot of the American lads like these big jugs. Tray and Evan. I think they've got one like bigger than that still. It's massive. And I know a tray as well. It was nice. It's nice to see Trey back in training after his injury at the Rogue Invitational. So Looks like he's making quite a good recovery. Be nice to see Trey back soon. Ah, yep, there we go. That's good. Let's <sighs> just put 100 on and see. This, this will be like the top working set for me today. Oh, that was good. That was nice. I like that one. That was, uh, yeah, that was up there. So, first couple were a bit um, on the higher side. As in, it didn't get worn up. It's good though. It's nice. Mother Teresa. RPE, which is your, I don't know how difficult it is. 10 being the most difficult. Mine was set to a nine, so I think that was that was probably about right, to be honest. 100 kilos. Probably could have gone a little bit more, but what's the point in saying that? Because I didn't. So 100 was what the weight was today. That's what I set my sight on. So now just going to do a couple of sets of five reps with this incline. I think that's quite a high volume one as well. So Jesus. Man.
I don't know why, but I'm not putting any elbow sleeves on. Um, only time I wear elbow sleeves or knee sleeves is when I'm doing axle clean and press. So, like, what, so everything I'm doing, I talk like it's me that's doing it all, but it's not. It's, it's, it's from um, Shane. And, you know, to be fair to Dan, I don't mean to do Dan a, a, an injustice here, because Dan, Dan was a great coach and he programmed a lot of stuff for me, but it's certain times it can work, but I think Dan and I, you know, we're, we're, we're close, we're good friends, and um, sometimes that can get in the way of coaching sometimes as well. So, see if Dan programmed me to do some accessory stuff for my shoulders, I'm not doing that, Dan, jeez. It was my fault, I think, the, the coaching stuff wasn't as working as, as it should, because I wasn't, you know, being accountable for my actions and stuff, even though, you know, Dan had programmed certain things and uh, maybe I didn't fall it to the, the utmost. Um, but, I mean, you can see with Tom, with, with how, how strong Tom's looking, I mean, the coaching works. So For me, I just needed to change it, and it wasn't anything bad against Dan or good against Shane. It was just that's what I saw, you know, that freshness, you know, sometimes you need a wee bit of a, a boost, and that's all it was. So now everything I'm doing is... Because Shane said, I'm not like, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm doing this uh, five second hold at the bottom of a front squat because it helps with my posterior chain. <laughs> Didn't know what that was until a few weeks ago, guys. Come on. Nice. I can feel it. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my soul. Now we'll set up for um, incline, incline bench press. It's a hard one when you're doing like a 10 rep max. So you don't want to warm up. You don't want to do 10s all the time. You don't want to do 10 reps uh, every set. So you want to kind of get a feel, maybe do three, four reps or so. You should have a feel in your own body, you know, what you can, can't do. So um, if I'm doing three reps and it feels comfy, then I know you know, 10 shouldn't be too much out of the question. Right, so this is 100 kilos. I'd like to think this would be nice and comfy. Yeah. Feels okay. But if I miss, miss match of plates here, huh? Blue, black and green. Do we go all out? Let's try it and see. Go 140. Come on, mate. Mm. Oh, that is so nice. I'm, I'm honestly, like, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but that is really nice. I think, imagine in a summer's day, oh, compose yourself. Do you believe? 10 reps. I predict after this, I'll be like, I should have done 160. I'll even 180. <laughs> and you doubted me. How dare you? Guys, should have done 160. That was too easy, man. Oh, too easy. Just knocked the fly out. Mr. Menagi. Jeez. 
Oh, a pump there, boy. So yeah, that is, uh, that's my pressing done. It was good. Highlight today was behind the neck press, 100 kilos for 10 reps. Everything going well. I'm now going to go and do some events. There's a certain someone that's been missing us, so we'll go and see who that could be. Any guesses? He's about 20 foot tall. Strongest man on the planet. We'll see you in the warehouse. We're in events again on a Thursday. That's weird, isn't it? That's the press for the Arnolds today, and then all the rest will be Britain's events. Arm over arm, loading sandbag into an arm over arm, bag toss, and at the stones. See how it goes today. I'm sick of it. So two, two lots of that so in a week's hard. So just watch. Just gonna increase one of the sandbags up to 28 kilos, just so it reflects Britain's. All the other sandbags have pretty much burst, apart from the Cerberus one. The Cerberus sandbag we've had for the longest time. We've got the rogue ones, and they just keep bursting. Another single at 120, and then I'll probably go to one times 140 or something. Um, and then we can maybe see from there. Who remembers the Stokeland chalk? If you've, if you've bought chalk from us years ago, comment down below and we'll say hello. We found a big box of it. That stuff that Tom sold that he's given a one star review. Oh, now you're watching about I'll that. I'll try a bit. Oh, come on, this old man, Chuck. Oh, I should have tried to catch that. I put my toe up like this. What an idiot. I put my top one in the bar went down in it. <laughs> Doing my sandbag throws, so um, we filled it up to, like I say, 28 kilos today, the Cerberus one. Um, the only bag that seems to last. So let's see how it goes. Are you staying on that or are you going up? I'm doing a 170. That's 160. Not quite as big a jump as Big Tommy's. Not 40 kilos, but it may as well be for me. Jeez, oh, that was awful. Stumbled at the f***ing pick up with the uh, throw bags. It's important, you know, just to keep that consistency up. Everything's throwing the same. And then if you falter a little bit, um, that's when it like, interrupts your flow. You're getting into that flow state, so funny. So stupid sometimes. That's fine. Come on. Good, Tom. Nice press. Come on. Good, Tom. Come on, let's see some power. Yeah, there you go. Easy, Tom. Come on. Nice and steady. Come on. Come on, Tom. Big power. Come on. Yeah, easy. Come on. It's 45 seconds, Tom. Come on. Easy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, fight this one, Tom. Come on. Good, Tom. See some power in the press. Come on. 
Get it! Yeah, buddy. Minute 10. Just how about even that last one? I caught it low, but I still do. Couldn't happen, that's my fatigue, so. And I had no time as well, you're probably talking two minutes, so I probably had like another 30 odd seconds that I could have composed myself and really gone for it. And I think, you know, usually with Arnold, if you clean it, you get a point anyway, so happy with that for, for 170 and nice and consistent with the clean and pressing this time. So. So it was more in that flow rather than like doubt yourself with throwing. I remember when Tom came second at Worlds the first time in Florida, we had, we had keg toss and everyone was boom, boom, boom. I remember screaming so much, that was wild that one. You remember that? So that's what it's got to be every time, just confident, confident, confident. And I'll probably do another few throws with a 28 kilo on, just to get a bit more comfortable with it. <laughs> Stop being a fanny! Ha. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez, oh, that was funny though. a new technique that was the best that's felt so yeah if you take a step back you lose about half a second or so but I'm sure enough to keep them where they are and just go like a stone basically step one step two step three step four if I need to in the last one one step and go but that was nice so Ah. Oh. oh, spicy. Best of helps of hope, best uh, um, <laughs> <shit. Done. laughs> That's the best the axles felt and that's the best this throwing's felt. I know you don't overthink these things. With throwing it's literally, you just have to throw and uh, taking a step back is also smart as well because if one thing goes wrong, you're dead. But uh, everybody has their own technique. That's my technique now. Luke has his technique. Everyone else has their technique. I wanted to try something different to, you know, I'm not I'm fast at sandbags, but I can be any, even faster. Take away the step away and just chuck them from the spot. I know I can do that, so. I don't like you say sorry. Like once you get into your rhythm, it's like you don't look back and then it's just boom, boom, yeah. boom. You, you can feel it, can't you? That's what everyone even should be like. You know, if you've got this in a competition, tell your coach or tell somebody that's in the car to make a noise if it doesn't go over, then they can turn around. That's what Dan or someone does to me. You know, it's your class that they told you the rest, but some rest don't do anything. So you ask someone at the side going, and then they say, no, and you have to redo it. So as long as you don't hear that voice, just keep throwing, 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 throwing. Don't even look behind because it's over. So. There's a wee tip, Tom tip of the day. Any more tips? Go to stoltonstrengthacademy.com Come on. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Come on. You better. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait. Yes. 
Come on. Come on. That's too long. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Flip. Oh. Oh, one more. Oh. That's right, come on. Nice. Oh. Oh. That's right. Ah, mission completed. Oh, we have reached level two. Now we do eight reps. Let's go. <laughs> Done. Doing that six times, it was getting harder and harder. You have to put more in it each time, so it helps you with that explosiveness. It didn't look like it was getting harder for Tommy. Oh, oh. miles, well, it was good. I like, I like that. Right, I'm over. How many steps total are you doing? Uh, three, four maybe. I'll, I'll check after this one. Oh, I'll keep fighting. Any six ones. <laughs> Why am I fighting so? Jeez, well, I'm knackered. It was good, good day though. I've got some physio I've got to go to. So I'm going to come back. Maybe with Harry, do stones tomorrow.
you that. Very happy with how the session's gone. My recovery's back up, everything's feeling good, my body feels good, mentally and physically I feel good. Um, I've locked in on the diet, I'm locked in on kind of recovery, my sleeping is unreal right now as well. Sleep supplements, everything I think are really good. Melatonin and everything like that, uh, magnesium. I take all that kind of stuff at night now and yeah, I'm deep, deep sleeps and that's when I'm best recovering is in my sleep, so that's a good sign. I'm doing hot and cold every night in the gym as well, which there's a pain to go to at night time, but I'm doing like five, six minute rounds, so I don't have to do two. And then I go in the sauna, so everything's going good. Like I'm different than look, I do hot and cold, based mainly for recovery, and it really shuts me off at night. That's why if I do it at two, three o'clock in the afternoon, it won't benefit me. If I do it at six, seven o'clock at night, it benefits me. I'll go home, have dinner, then go to bed. But yeah, guys, thank you for that. Great session. We're peaking good as well, so every session's gonna get stronger and stronger. Um, it's really helped me train for both Arnold's and Britons as well because I really have to push my body. Like my deadlifts have been really insane right now. I'm not really sure any of my deadlifts, but uh, yeah, my deadlifts are probably the strongest they've been. And uh, you know, I've been doing raw deadlifts, warming up, then putting a suit on as well, which is really helping for both Arnold's and uh, Britons. But yeah, let's not say any more about deadlifts. I'll show you on the day, but yeah. Social media being quiet. YouTube's the place to find my training now. Guys, have a great day. Stay, stay, smile and stay spicy. And please don't ever ring. Stop ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.